Hi guys, it's Mrs. H. Um, as promised, this week we're going to talk about some birds. It's getting beautiful out, so go take a look around. Some I bet you'll see in your backyard, some for walks. I missed a whole ton of them that you see other kinds of species. So I'm going to show you a couple. You're going to hear their songs. And then I'm going to have a video montage at the end so you can actually see the birds. What they look like in real life. Alright, I hope you enjoy this. First one is a house finch. The male house finch, if you look around, will have actually pink on his body. It looks pretty red here, but the female is brown. They mostly just eat seeds. Let's see if we can hear their sound they make. Cool. Let's go to the next one. Next is a morning dove. I guarantee you have these in your backyard. Most of you hear them a lot of times late at night, early in the morning. So while you're, t they also eat a lot of uh, seeds also. Uh, they do more of a cooing sound. I don't think I'm gonna be able to grab that sound for you real quick here. So we're gonna go right on to the next one. Mm, one of my favorite ones is because it's springtime, you see all these birds moving through and a goldfinch, they're a beautiful yellow. You may not see them all, all summer long. They will actually kind of keep migrating back um, to the warmer parts and where wherever they can find food is really where they're going to go to. So um, let me just see if I can't get their sound here for you. It takes one second. So that's a finch. There's all different kinds, but those are so pretty. Been seeing a lot of them actually lately. I might not be able to get it. All right, here we go. Sounds a lot like the other one. All right, moving on to the next. This one actually I really love. It's a cowbird, and it's a brown-headed cowbird. And out you will see that their bodies are black, but their head is like a chocolate brown. You don't notice them that often. People say, oh, they're just a brown bird, but they're beautiful. Um, they come along with their, their females um, and they're just normally just a brown. They don't have the two-tone body. Um, and you will also see them eating nuts and seeds and all that good stuff. Let me see if I can find their call for you real quick. So let's, this one's easy, here we go. Very cool. Okay, keep on moving here. We're going to go on over here to the American Robin. Now, not only is our American Robin our state bird, um, but you will see a Robins all the time. A lot of people think of them as our spring bird. Um, they are really here year round. Some do migrate, some stay here in the pine trees. Um, they mainly eat bugs and worms. You'll even catch them digging them out of the ground. They'll also eat um, some seeds from some bushes and trees that are on the ground. Um, so keep a look for the for the robin. Um, year, it's year round and you generally hear them do their call at night a lot during the day. But I want you to go on out and I spy as many of those guys as you can. Here we go. Here's the sound of our robin. a cardinal. Most of us know what the cardinal is. I think they're the most beautiful birds ever. Um, the female is always a duller color, more of a light brownish pinkish. And then the male cardinal is always a very bright red. Um, once again, these birds will also eat seeds in your yard. Um, so they'll be looking from your trees in the ground, but they will be looking for seeds. And another cool thing about cardinals is they are like husband and wife. They are a pair together forever. So once they find each other, they stay with each other. Here's the sound of a cardinal. Last is the bald eagle. Now, 
We used to think when we were kids, and if you went up north, you saw the bald eagle, and you thought it was the coolest thing. They're the ones with the big white heads and the beautiful long white feathers on their tail. Cool thing is we are now starting to see more bald eagles here in Wisconsin. There's even some nests over in East Troy, and right here in McQuanago, you will see the bald eagles flying over. Bald eagles um, do eat, they're more of meat eaters, so they will look for the chipmunks and the mice. Um, a cool, another cool fact about a bald eagle is they will not get their white head until they're about the age of two to three-ish. So you might be seeing them up there without the white head. That just means they're a young one. Eight times out of ten, it's probably a hawk. But you will see the bald eagles flying over McQuanago. We see them quite often, and I have seen two at a time. So I hope you enjoyed my book. This is the eagle, and... Let's make the sound. All right, once again, our bald eagle, it is our national bird. I hope you enjoyed these and just wait a moment and we're gonna give you some other birds to look at. Miss you guys all and have a great day.